wasn't singing too much, I couldn't decide. No, no, thing. no, that's what got me. Oh, the singing? Mm -hmm. Nice. Hi, Giovanni. Hi, Sherry. How are you? I love the background. Thank you so much. How are you doing? I'm very, very excited of talking to you. I'm such a fan. And right now I'm in Chicago, so you have become part of my legends from the city. Thank you so much. Oh, that is so sweet. Thank you. And speaking of Chicago, Kevin is also from Chicago and you share a lot of screen time with him. Did you guys wonder about the series when you were filming together? You know, it's funny when we were talking, so many things came out and we would dance together and have a good time. And then he mentioned he was from Chicago and I was like, what? I'm from Chicago too. And then, you know, when, you, when you're from the same city, you're like, did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Do you miss the city? Do you miss coming back? I do miss Chicago in the spring and the summer. You know, Lakeshore <laughs> Drive and going different places and my Giordano's, my Giordano's Pizza and my White Castle. Not in the wintertime, though. <laughs> oh, you don't miss the seven months of winter? <laughs> Ooh, no. That's when I just, I'm loving California. There's nothing bad. Your parents would be really proud of you. This is such a fun, beautiful uh, movie. Um, but I, I, I saw you dancing on Mr. Iglesias. So I know that you're musical and you have rhythm. But why did you want to do a musical? You know, it's something that I've never done. And they said you'll have to sing and you'll have to dance. And anything that scares me, I just say yes. And that's why I did something like a Dancing with the Stars or a Mask Singer. If it scares me, I'm just, I gotta try it. So I thought, how fun. I love musicals and I love it. And when they said it was a faith-based musical and I was, and you gotta sing and dance. I said, okay, what do I got to lose? I can just fall a lot. You didn't tell me this was church camp. It's gonna be great. Speaking of that, I don't think that we had so a lot of movies coming from Netflix that are faith-based. Was that important for you? That, that was pretty uh, new for me watching a, a Netflix movie. Well, I love I love A Week Away because it wasn't like this is a Christian uh, movie, yeah. but it does talk about themes of faith, but it also talks about the goodness of human beings mm -hmm. and learning kindness and learning forgiveness and finding love again. So those are themes that I think are universal. We all want that. And especially in this time, people are so wanting human connection and they want to hear those themes of forgiveness and love and unity. So I think it even goes beyond being a, a faith-based film. If anybody goes on my social media, I talk about my faith all the time that I would not be where I am without my faith in God and without him guiding me. So it literally was like a perk of I would have done the musical anyway, but because it was faith-based, I was like, yeah. <laughs> it's been so long since I felt so connected. And in the movie, you're giving advice to the kids. Uh, which, what advice would you wish someone had given you when you were a teenager? When I was a teenager, I wish someone would have said to me, it's okay to say no. I think as a teenager, you go through so much, you want to be liked, you're trying to fit in. That's really important. And I wish somebody would have said, Sherry, it's okay to say no. That you're really unique and all those things that you think are so like, uh, they're gonna be gold in 20 years. So develop those strengths. I use humor because I got picked on a lot. And look, humor is the thing that makes me a lot of money. And it must be crazy to be a teenager right now. They just had the crazy years with the pandemic and everything that uh, happened in the country. So I can just imagine how it must be to be a teenager today. Well, I have a I have a 15, soon to be 16 year old upstairs who's about to get online, you know, and it's hard for kids today because you don't have overnight, you don't have camp experience. That's the, you know, and I think so to be able to show the camp experience of one week, of a week away is so, you know, so needed now, so, you know, and I think 
this I feel badly for kids because there's no school dances, there's no sleepover camps, there's no, you know, getting into the extracurricular programs. It's everything's online. So I I, I hope and pray that we can come back to a sense of normalcy so that, you know, I want my son to be able to go to a sleepaway camp. He's never had that experience. Well, at least he has the movie on Friday. Absolutely. And to see his mom sing and dance. Yes, and I'll be there and I'll be sharing the movie with everybody. Thank you so much, Sherry. Uh, again, it's an honor to talk to you. Thank you. It's such an honor to talk to you, Giovanni. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.